start with the opening statement from coach and then take questions from Paul. Obviously, uh, disappointing uh, for us tonight. Again, I thought this was a, a game that we would come out with a lot of, a lot of energy, and we didn't really have the energy to start the game. Uh, our guys were, uh, we, we had had looks, um, but uh, Thomason was got going early. Um, I thought we did a much better job of controlling them in the second half, but he he was able to get some separation for his team, and I think that gave them a, a lot of com gave uh, his teammates a lot of confidence as well. But um, we. Kept fighting, kept grinding, um, had had some opportunities to make some timely shots, but um, didn't. What was unfortunately didn't didn't see any of those go, go down for us to put a little bit more game pressure into the game. Questions, Paul. Paul, you used like twelve points, but also a career high eighteen points bowl and relevant for you. And how do you put your personal personal high aside and also focus on the team? So how, how, talk about those emotions. Um, I think the difference for me was just being more aggressive. Uh, last game I came in real passive and I was turned it over three straight plays and I know that's not usually myself so I just I watched that film and I just my main emphasis was just to be aggressive when I got in and make the most of my minutes and then I mean it's cool like yeah I scored whatever but the main goal is to win so we didn't win so there's still work to be done that's the way I'm looking at it. Paul people talk about this team's backcourt being Ezra and Tyron but you came out, shot with a lot of confidence today. What is it like for you, the goal of trying to fit in and make it a three-headed beast for the guards? Um, I don't really pay attention too much to that. My main thing is just trying to help the team win. That's that's the only focus I have going in the game. Paul, do you feel like you were more confident today than in past games? For sure. Um, I'm not I'm not sure what it was. I, I think it was just my mindset going into the game. Like, I really made it an emphasis to be a lot more aggressive and assertive. And it also carried over defensively, I feel like. I think that's what helped me be more confident, too, like just being into the ball on defense and bringing energy. You feel like that's maybe something you can take on forward, that aggressiveness? For sure, for sure. Um, we need some spark off the bench, especially in a game like when we start slow like we did, so for sure. All right. From a player's point of view, what did you see defensively against Georgia tonight? Um, they hit a lot of tough shots, and I think once they started hitting those shots, they kind of stretched us out because you got to close out a lot harder when guys are hitting shots like that. All right, thanks, Paul. All right, questions for Coach? You guys only had five turnovers tonight, but shot 36% from the field. Can you kind of pinpoint what happened offensively? No, I just you know, we didn't, we didn't make the shots. You know, I thought we got got looks. We you know got in the paint. I thought we shared it. Um, you know, a couple plays in in the first half, we took some you know some tough shots from, from a couple of our younger guys that you know, we had some guys open. But for the most part, I thought we moved it pretty good. We got into the paint. The ball moved around and um, just it, it didn't fall for us. Uh, especially in the second half, I thought we had some um, you know real real opportunities there to. Some good looks from my from, from my better shooters that uh, that didn't go down for us. And again, and I think because of how they shot it well in the first half, we wanted to you know stretch out and push out to those shooters a little bit more in the second half. And they were able to you know get a lot of a lot of paint scores. I thought that they drove the ball, and even though shots was contested, I thought Ben had a good couple beads on um, um, on Demery a couple times in the basket, and he was still able to convert. So it was just just one of those games where they. Give them credit that they that they made the plays that they needed to. Thought they cut really hard um, out of some of their sets. They got some easy, a couple easy opportunities at the basket, made basically from our cuts. I didn't think that we did, you know defended it that poorly, but just their their um, pace of how they were coming off the cuts offered a couple of easy opportunities for them in the second half as well. I rebounded thirty nine and twenty six. What went wrong on the boards today? No, we just got to get more effort, more effort on the offensive boards. I think that's you know that's where it, where it is. I mean, it was a, kind of balanced a, a little bit. Um, you know, with rebounds, thirty you know defensive rebounds. A lot of that was just probably our misses. Right? I mean, I, I really try to look at the offensive rebounds. I didn't you know we held them to like seven offensive rebounds. So there a lot of those defensive boards just come from from us not converting you know offensively. So I think we got to got to score. If we score the ball better and we shoot it at a better clip, then um, probably that that's in a little bit more balance. But I mean, the big key for me is always looking at those offensive rebounds, and you know we just we get guys uh, you know 
played him. I thought Ben did a pretty good job. He had eight boys. Tyron had, had six boys. Um, you know, Evan had two. You know, for those guys that played Evan Taylor and, 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 and JQ Roberts, uh, we need those guys to, you know, especially at that spot to get their hands on some balls, even if they don't rebound them, to get their hands on, on some balls to try to give them some second chance opportunities as well. And, and, and those guys didn't didn't have any of those, um, too many of those tonight. What did it mean to see Paul have that career game tonight? It was good. I'm happy for Paul because he, you know, he's, he's been continuing to work at it. I know he's, you know, been frustrated at, at times this year, not being able to shoot it at the, you know, at the clip that he knows that he's capable of, and we know that he's capable of. So hopefully, this is something that can kind of, you know, spark him and um, and give us another, uh, you know, another option off the bench to to, to get some scoring. I mean, our, our younger guys kind of hit a, have, have hit a little bit of a wall, you know. So it's just so it's trying to get them through this tough stretch. But you know, it's just good to have a guy that's been around a little while, and knows what's going. And I, and I went with more of those older guys today, added Jordan Williams into the mix a little bit more. But felt like this was a, uh, you know, definitely a, a game that, that we were capable of getting. So definitely disappointed that we weren't able to to shoot it well enough to to come out on top. You mentioned some of those younger guys hitting the wall. Jason Rivera Torres has kind of been in a slump recently. What's your messaging been towards him? Just to keep working, you know, keep, I think just to, to keep, you know, come in, he puts the work in and just, I mean, I thought he, you know, came in and made a good play, got off the ball early, got a good open three, and then he came in and, you know, and trying to draw fouls, you know, when they're not really fouling, you know, kicking out his legs and doing those type of things. He's just got to come in and stay confident with his shot and make the next play when, when it's, uh, when it's not there. So, it's, you know, uh, Malik Presley didn't really, you know, get get, you know, he didn't get an opportunity tonight. You know, maybe, you know, maybe could have threw him out there. He, he does bring good energy to, you know, especially to try to get on the offensive boards and everything. But I just, you know, didn't didn't feel really good with some of the things that they were doing and in, in, in the coverages as we went over the last couple of days. It didn't feel like he had a great grasp of it. So um, obviously he he didn't get denied tonight. But you know, for, for, but again, it's always game to game. Uh, I think we're gonna need. You know, going into a game like Florida, where they have a lot of size and they really try to pound the offensive boards, that uh, we, we're going to need some of that the physicality that he brings on both on both ends to, to offensive rebound as well as get defensive boards for us. Coach, teams, uh, people always talk about keeping games close until the end because anything can happen at the end of the game. Your last nine losses, I believe, were all by double digits. How do you go about um, keeping things competitive down the stretch so that can happen? Well, I mean, again, it's, it makes shots, man. It's basketball. You got to make shots. Same thing that happened tonight. Again, I think that's that's one of the things. Obviously, the, the game got away from us uh, early in uh, Tennessee. Uh, they, they came out and they made a ton of shots. And, you know, I mean, they, they've done that to a lot of people. I mean, like you, you know, we've again uh, at this point. I know it was last game. I don't know where it was, but we've had the the toughest schedule in the SEC. You, know, you talk about strength of schedule and who we played. You know, we we're number one. We sit at number one. We played the toughest teams early on. Um, this this was probably not one of those teams, but um, ho hopefully that as we get you know go down you know a little bit further down the stretch that uh, we're, we're able to get some of these wins and, and and shoot it at a better clip and rebound and do some of the things that we've been doing over the last couple of games. The way we played against A um, and M, uh, the way that we played it. Uh, against uh, Missouri, you know, we got, got to bring some of those. We've been doing, we've been training in the right direction, especially offensively. We took a step back against Tennessee, but we have been doing some things well. Just obviously have been uh, finishing, uh, finish uh, at the, the, the end of end score hadn't been exactly what we wanted to be. Uh, with the results, the way that they've been this season, you know, do you think that you've done enough to retain your job this after the season? Well, you know, that's one thing about. About, about my job is that you know whatever you, I got hired here to do a job and I've been trending in the right direction for a long time like you know I, I probably heard more things about net this year than I've than I've ever heard about our net you know the last four years before that when we increased our net every year I hadn't heard anything about that so we've been doing a lot of good things trying to trend in the right direction and, and I know it's a lot of noise out there a lot of things but you know I, one thing I can say no weapons formed against me shall prosper. You know what I'm saying? Because I got faith with the man upstairs that he that, that he put me in this position for a reason and everything that I'm going through right now, um, you know, or with this team and off the court is ordained. And it's stuff that's gonna make me better and I really feel about that. Um, 
you know, you know, hate that, you know, some of the narrative that keeps coming back, you know, deals with, you know, a tweet or something from, you know, 21. I mean, I, if I could take it back, I wish I would. But at that point in time, that's how I felt. And that's how I addressed it. Um, but at the same time, you know, there's, you know, there was 12 disciples, right? And there's only one of them was a Judas. There's a lot of people pulling for me. You know, there's a lot of people pulling for our team. And, I'm, and I just try to think about those people and, and make sure that I continue to, to do my job and focus on, on these guys and helping them get better. And then I'll live with the result from there. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.